And welcome back. This is your man, Warrior. This is another patron roster review. This is Guppy Slayer. Guppy Slayer is from 808 MSK. 808, that's right. He is doing very well in arena. He's always top 50, but he's kind of wanting to know how to break out of the top uh, 20 uh, and get into uh, the top 20 from the top 50. Uh, he's really assigned uh, phase three of the heroic AAT and just wants maybe a couple of teams. And since you're only assigned to one phase, you're going to be able to use your entire roster. So there's a ton of options, but there's two kind of go-to teams I'll talk about. You want to know about the next Vader because you already have Darth Vader, Maul, and Nihilus. And now that you're done with those three you're looking at another zeta you want to kind of have me look at ships and is there anybody you're kind of missing on the farming or someone you need to kind of finish up so first we're going to start with arena uh with arena the two characters i'm looking at right in this squad that i would say could be easily pulled for better characters that would make you get into the top 20 would be emperor palpatine and Dooku. Now, the reason for that is Emperor Palpatine is a bit of a liability against the Triton base combo, and that is probably what you're going to see in the top 20 uh, because they're very good characters and a lot of people use them. So, I would recommend replacing your Emperor Palpatine with Sith Assassin. Now, Emperor Palpatine does a stun, Sith Assassin can do a stun. Sith Assassin also keeps herself stealthed very easily, so you can not worry about her dying, and she's going to also do damage straight to health and speed your team up. So she is, uh, in my opinion, better than Emperor Palpatine, and will give you the speed you need to compete in the top 20. The other individual you could replace would be your Count Dooku for your next Zeta, Kylo Ren. This would be probably the next recommendation for, for Zeta, even after the AKA rework or fix or whatever you want to call it. Kylo Ren still is an amazing character. He's still great. You could use him in the Phase 3 uh, teams uh, that I'm suggesting. I'm not going to put him in the Phase 3 teams, but you could easily have him there. Um, he's wonderful. He's great in Arena, and he can single-handedly dismantle another team on Arena. So if you want to get to that number one spot and you're struggling offensively, this is the guy that you put in to make sure you at least get to the number one spot you may not be able to keep it but because nothing's defensible anymore but this guy will definitely carve a path to the number one slot so if you put in sith assassin to make the rest of your sith very fast and you put this guy in for the little extra edge of offense you should be good to go so that would be my suggestion and that also lets you know that kylo ren um, it would be a great replacement for arena as far as Sith Assassin goes, you do have some work. Um, she is completely viable in Arena, even in the top 10, at a 5 star. She does not have to be 7 stars. Obviously, those 2 stars will help a little bit more with health and damage output, but don't worry about that. 5 stars is sufficient. You do have her at gear 8. I would highly recommend getting her up to at least gear 10 before you decide to make these substitutions. So just satisfy with the top 50 until you can get um, these 2 characters up to par. Now, uh, your Kylo Ren is gear 11. And so he's good to go. You just need the Zeta on him and then Sith Assassin. By the way, you did all that work on Kylo Ren getting him to gear 11. It would be a shame to not Zeta him at this point. As far as the other arena and ships, you wanted to have me take a look at it. Um, you're using Admiral Akbar, and that is fine. You're also using the Biggs uh, Imperial TIE Fighter and the TIE Advance. It's kind of that triple threat combo where you protect the TIE Advance with Biggs and Biggs taunts because Imperial TIE Fighter puts out the 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 target lock so this is a great uh, tri kind of triple threat combo uh, two of them that you have in the first lineup is Geonosian soldier and Boba Fett's ship and I would take both of them out Boba Fett's ships not seven stars quite yet and is a little bit squishy and the Geonosian soldier is just really really slow I would replace them with the scimitar in place of the Boba Fett's ship. And the reason for that is the scimitar is just about as squishy as that ship, but, and they both serve a similar purpose, but he can, scimitar will be probably at least get one solid turn, probably three or four, but one solid turn. And that's all he needs to put up his retribution on Biggs. And that'll give Biggs a lot more durability in that initial five lineup. So that is what I would recommend. Then when Boba Fett comes in, you'll be able to actually use his AOE, which will be nice. And the target lock will be set up by then. And then the second ship I would put in for Geonosian Soldier is actually not even in your lineup. And that is five uh, and fives ship so the umbaran starfighter and fives i would farm fives immediately he's an easy farm get him up gear him up 
and then the Umbaran Starfighter. You don't even have the ship unlocked, and that is an easy farm. I know a lot of people that looked the Umbaran and said, well, he gives a little bit of turn meter to the opposing team. I don't like him, but with the amount of damage that he can do on a target lock team and how tanky he is, it's really, really, really hard to not want to use him in a target lock team where the one thing you need is some durability. So those would be my suggestions there. As far as a phase three team, there's two teams I would talk about. The first one you probably already know about. We talk about it all the time, but Chief Chirpa as the leader. Now I know you're going, oh crap, you're asking me to get up my Chief Chirpa and he's like only three stars and level one abilities, level one gear. But this guy's an Ewok and there is an Ewok thing happening. There's a rework and there's a bunch of new Ewoks coming in. So it would probably behoove you to go ahead and focus on Chief Chirpa too. Chief Chirpa has, has always long since been a viable individual or character in the phase three raid. And since you're assigned to phase three, it would behoove you to take on the task of farming those most important characters in phase three and that would be chief chirpa i really do put him as the number one leader in in phase three especially for you know anybody who doesn't spend a ton i know you spend a little bit um and you've played for over a year so you've got a decent roster but um this would definitely be somebody that i would i would focus on right away with chief chirpa obviously comes emperor palpatine for this team you're gonna want to have emperor palpatine in there for all of the damage making sure you shock all those ad robots and then of course Emperor Palpatine goes off and then you're going to want three tanks you've got Royal Guard to seven star you'll want to continue to develop him and then you can add Stormtrooper Han who you believe I believe you have at gear nine as well continue to develop him and then you could add either Sunfac or K2SO or another a third tank K2SO is very disruptive so K2SO would work pretty well plus since he counters he might add a, just a little bit of damage to your damage total another option for this phase three team could actually be a kind of a turn meter reduction team a little bit where you use Tebow. Uh, so Tebow would be your lead and then you could actually use Jen Erso, whom you have at six star, not quite ready to go for this team yet, but another character you could develop and Jen Erso is phenomenal in the Rancor raid. So, and since you have Darth Vader, I would highly recommend using Jen Erso on a Darth Vader team to help finish it off. I know a lot of people that used to solo with Darth Vader and now can't solo the raid because they don't have quite enough turn meter reduction and Jen Erso is phenomenal in that department. So it would behoove you to get her up as well. And then on this team, you would use your Chirrut and Vase, which unfortunately you don't have either of, which is why this is the secondary team that I'm going to say. So for now, you would use just base a base Rebel team, but you would definitely, Chirrut is farmable, so you're going to want to get him out of ship shipments. And then Vase, you're going to have to unlock that node. That'll be difficult, but you do have a lot of really good light side characters, and with Borrowing uh, Tune, you should be able to get Vase. Um, and then start working on him. You could get bays from shipments for 150 crystals for three. It does take a bit of time there too, but Chirrut and bays are probably one of the best combos in the game. And a lot of people just say, well, I don't, I'm not even close. I'm not gonna even try, but I would definitely try for both of those characters. But in the meantime, another optional team would be your Tebow lead a Jin or so, and then follow it up with your three best rebels. That could be Lando, Wedge, and Biggs. Um, that's a lot of damage that can be done and with the AOE you'll be able to um, you'll be able to get some you know crit chance up and things like that so that way you don't lose anyone to the to the tank uh, and you're gonna do quite a bit of damage and be able to take those ad robots out pretty quickly when they get that triangle over their head so just an alternative uh, you could also kind of do like a Sith Empire uh, blend of a team for phase three and then lastly just the overall farming You've got Rex Gear 8. He's great in raids and arena. I would definitely recommend finishing him off from Gear 8. Just take him up to at least Gear 10. I've already mentioned Sith Assassin, but definitely finish her off. You can continue to farm her to 7 stars and get her from Gear 8 to at least Gear 10. Number three, I would definitely recommend R2-D2. He's one of the best light side characters in the game. Definitely in the top six, best light side ever made. And you've got him seven star gear six. So you've got his star rate and you've got his abilities up. Now it's just a matter of putting some mods on him and getting him from gear six to gear 10. Although he starts to become viable at the end of gear nine. So very good character. 
Of course, number four would be Chief Chirpa, and the reason for that is he's probably the single best leader or one of the best leaders in the third phase, and that's the one you're assigned to, and so this fuzzy bear really should make your farming list. And the last three are going to be tanks because truly your tanks uh, leave something to be desired. It's kind of the biggest opportunity I've seen looking over your entire thing. You've got some pretty good attackers, damage dealers, light side, dark side. The, overall, you've done a pretty decent job of how you farmed everybody up. Um, I even see you've given B2 a little bit of love. But as far as taunting tanks, um, you definitely leave something to be desired. Um, Royal Guard, you're going to want to go ahead and continue working on him and finishing him. And then Stormtrooper Han... You you have at three stars level one and sun fact you have at six stars gear six and so i would highly recommend getting sun fact put into your favorites and leveling him up not just for raids but um for arena i know a lot of people say that he's not arena viable but trust me these types of characters come and go they go from being viable to not viable back to viable it happens all the time it's an ebb and flow of the arena it's just the nature of the beast and he's one of those characters plus he has a phenomenal ship and that is a ship that you could potentially be using but your pilot the sunfat character is not leveled up very well plus he shines in phase three and that is the phase that you're assigned to so sunfat i would definitely work on and then stormtrooper han um, down here on the bottom poor guy he's gotten no love at all i would definitely recommend him he's one of the best light side tanks in the game he used to be the man when it came to arena but unfortunately the auto taunt kind of made him dead in arena uh, but he still shines in phase three of the raid and i do believe he will come back at times in the arena for certain team compositions just due to the fact that you can get him pretty fast so these are my ideas guppy slayer you're doing very well hopefully some other people watching this have some ideas for you they're going to leave their comments down below as always keep your gaming on warrior out